on the field for my dead. Oh, let me kiss my country's ground, my friends and kin. Hi, I'm Ron Masak. I invite you to join me in the next hour in a fabulous musical journey. It's a concert of music and readings revolving around the theme, Welcome Home, Veterans. The one-hour broadcast captures a portion of the National Veterans Day concert of last November, given by my favorite ensemble, the Medical Musical Group. I was privileged to participate in this wonderful smorgasbord of music and verse. The members of the remarkable choir and orchestra are doctors, nurses, scientists, and other health professionals and volunteers. And they come from medical schools and centers from all over our great nation. Even more amazing is that they come to Washington, D.C. and practice together for only four days, then give this fabulous performance you will see and hear. Please note that this one-hour program comes in two halves with a brief station break in between. Also, the entire one-hour broadcast covers only half the live program. However, have no fear. You can order the full-length tape of this magnificent two-hour concert by following the instructions in the broadcast. And now, here is Welcome Home, Veterans. Enjoy. You who bore battle, strife, fire, and blight. You who bore for a dawn is so bright. Oh, oh, oh. 
it's indeed a, a great honor for me on behalf of our uh, nation's national veterans and military service organizations to welcome all of you here this evening to the uh, National Medical Musical Group's 2010 Veterans Day concert. Um, this year is particularly special because the National Medical Musical Group is celebrating its 20th anniversary and they started 20 years ago doing these concerts on Veterans Day and uh, it's been an incredible run for them. They have performed all across the U.S. and in many foreign countries. And in fact, uh, we'll be leaving tomorrow for Paris. I would like to thank all my colleagues from the uh, Diplomatic Corps for having uh, supported this uh, evening concert and tell you all once again that my country, France, will never forget what the uh, American veterans have done in World War I and World War II for the liberation of my country. This cannot be forgotten. Order a full-length DVD of this concert. Only $15 per DVD plus $5 shipping and handling for up to three DVDs. Call 1-888-6-DO-RE-MI, 1-888-636-7364 www.medicalmusical.com To the boy barely 18 Signing up to be a man From the deckhands to the corporals To our chief of command To our mothers and daughters Lacing up their boots Whether land, sea, or air Proud of all you do, this song is for you. But you can't wear it on your chest, but you can feel it in your heart. And I hope it brings you comfort when this world grows dark. Let it echo through the madness and let the message pull you through, because this is our. Medal of Honor to you. To the veterans of this nation, with forever in your debt. To the I hope it brings you comfort but When this world grows dark Let it echo through the madness Let the message pull you through Cause this is our Medal of Honor To you Let it echo through the madness Let the message pull you through Founder of No Greater Love and director of the White House Commission on Remembrance, I have long, long been aware that there is a holiness in remembrance. There's a holiness in honoring the life of those who died as guardians of our safety, as guarantors of our sovereignty. There is a holiness to honor those who now rest with the angels in the arms of God. AARP is leading a revolution in the way people view and live life. Our mission is to enhance the quality of life for all as we age. And ARP is governed by a 22 member volunteer board of directors on which I have the honor to serve. And we have many distinguished AARP officers and members in the audience. They're here to say with heartfelt sincerity and love, welcome home, veterans.
Order a full-length DVD of this concert. Only $15 per DVD plus $5 shipping and handling for up to three DVDs. Call 1-888-6-DO-RE-MI, 1-888-636-7364, www.medicalmusical.com. The signature feature of these concerts by our Medical Musical Group is an integrated thematic segment of readings and music, or music with a message. Tonight's theme is Welcome Home, Veterans. Breathe there the man or woman with soul so dead who never to himself or herself hath said, This is my own, my native land, whose heart hath never within them burned as home their footsteps they have turned. From wandering on a foreign strand. These famous lines by Sir Walter Scott refer to the basic human tenet of love of country. This yearning for home is intensified in quantum orders of magnitude for military personnel serving their country far, far away from home. And of course, is reciprocated by the worrying of the loved ones whom they left at home. No words can describe the intense emotions better than the verse and strains of When Johnny Comes Marching Home. When Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah, hurrah. We'll give him a hearty welcome then. Hurrah, hurrah. The men will cheer and the boys will shout. The ladies, they will all turn out and we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home. The old church bell will peal with joy. Hurrah, hurrah. To welcome home our darling boy. Hurrah, hurrah. The village lads and lassies say with roses they will strew the way and we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home. Get ready for the jubilee. Hurrah, hurrah. We'll give the hero three times three. Hurrah, hurrah. The laurel wreath is ready now to place upon his loyal brow. And we'll all feel gay when Johnny comes marching home. When Johnny comes marching home. In 1935, the composer Karl Orff wrote his famous oratorio, Carmina Burana. In it, Orff set to music a medieval Latin poem entitled, O Fortuna, or what we may now call Lady Luck. The Latin lyrics to this poem are, O Fortuna, Velet Luna, Statu Variabilis, Semper Crichis, Aut de Crichis, Vita Detestabilis. In English, O Fortune Akin to the Moon, ever waxing, ever waning, detestable, monstrous, and empty, a turning wheel.
Wait a minute. Listen carefully. Can you hear it? The sounds of footsteps stealing away in galactic corridors. The hoofbeats on the march of liberty through the eons. The perpetual quest for freedom through the millennia. A voyage that started in times immemorial and is still going on. A sojourn by the entire human race. Through kingdoms, thrones, and chiefdoms, dynasties, and empires, the human spirit continuously kept sailing through, ever onward, ever forward, amidst the hopes and fears of all the years. When you think of it, it makes you wonder, is the history of the great planet Earth guided by an invisible hand? Even as it goes through the ebb and flow of darkness and light? But this we know for sure, ladies and gentlemen, that in the end, liberty ultimately prevails, even if history at times would act like a wheel of fortune. our 2011 National Veterans Day concert, Wednesday, November 9, 2011, National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, Washington, D.C. Theme, City Upon a Hill, open to the public, free admission, call 202-797-0700, www.medicalmusical.org. In the beginning, there were pilgrims. Just think of that. In the beginning, there were pilgrims. The men and women who, with stern, impassioned stress, beat a thoroughfare of freedom across the wilderness were not the booted legions of an imperial army or the heavy horse of a warrior king, but rather a throng of humble but beautiful pilgrims. Perhaps without even realizing it, these pilgrims introduced simple ideas that eventually changed history. First that government is a contract, an agreement, a covenant between the governed and those who govern them, thus laying the foundation that government is of the people, by the people, and for the people. And second, is that the ultimate source of freedom and also of accountability is the creator, who is the author of liberty, again, laying the foundation for equal justice and liberty for all. And although they were flawed in many ways, particularly regarding the horrible sin of slavery and bequeathed the heritage of greatness that no less authority than Alexis de Tocqueville observed was rooted in goodness. And forever cloned the DNA of a brave new world. That new world we now call home.
America is but a child of all the nations of the world. We are indeed honored to have all of these distinguished ambassadors and diplomats to celebrate with us here tonight. And I'm sure we all agree that freedom is not free and that the price of freedom is the sacrifices of her defenders. Abraham Lincoln said of them at Gettysburg, the world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. That from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. Desert sand covers their rifles. Desert sand on fallen men. The war for them is all over. They won't have to fight again. They came from the north, came from the south, from the east, and from the west. They joined together, went to battle, left behind the ones they love best. They were Catholic, Protestants, and Jews. White and black women, too. But first of all, they were Americans. And they did what they were told to do. Now desert sand covers the rifles. Desert sand on fallen men, the war for them is all over. They won't have to fight again. When you say your prayers tonight And you give thanks that you're so safe and sound Don't forget those who gave their all And who fell upon that desert ground Now desert sand covers the rifle Desert sand on fallen men the war for them is all over. They won't have to fight again. No, they won't have to fight again. God bless our troops. Order a full-length DVD of this concert. Only $15 per DVD plus $5 shipping and handling for up to three DVDs. Call 1-888-6-DO-RE-MI. 1-888-636-7364. www.medicalmusical.com. I hope you're enjoying this wonderful, wonderful broadcast. We will continue at the other side of this brief break. So, see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> 